Hello, this is Dr. Kevin Kirk. I'm going to make a mechanical arm, I think, here in Blender. Just a mechanical arm, and as with everything, you want to go ahead and kill all the materials, and kill all the layers. So the materials are gone, and now the layers are gone too. So I'm going to do a new layer. I'm just going to call this arm. Arm. Great. I'm just going to need one layer, because I'm going to use um, bones to hold it all together and move it. Uh, new material, let's see, I'll do a fill, some kind of silvery, kind of metallic looking thing, I think. Yeah, it's kind of some silvery green. Yeah, make it a cobalt gray. Something like that, I think. It's fine. Okay, so I'm just going to make this mechanical arm. There's the base for it. Wonderful. Uh, this there is fine. Um, I can go into edit mode. I don't know if you know this trick. Oops, go to edit mode. And in edit mode, I can select something, right click, and arrange it by setting it to the back. Boom. And that way you don't have to worry about the um, lines on it. So now it looks behind it, which is nice. I like that. So let's go back to drawing. And I'm going to keep drawing this thing, and I want to have some kind of arm base here so we'll just do that so there's going to be my mechanical base arm enter beautiful and i have to go to edit mode to pull that back select it right click arrange send it back beautiful okay a few more things on this let's do a back and draw mode kind of a circle thing to hold it all together kind of a joint looking thing right here that's fine enter that that's fine uh let's do another thing on top of this so do this i'm gonna say on top of it's actually going to be behind it but thinner good so i want to send that behind of course so grab it right click send it back beautiful okay back to draw mode now i'm going to do another circle on there and it's time for the finger part of it, or the claw part of it, whatever you want to call it. Uh, let's see how I'm going to do this. Well, I'll just kind of build, I'm build it on the side here. Enter. I think I'll go into edit mode and just kind of mess with this. I'll select that, go to the points up here, and kind of grab these guys and move them out. So that's actually not a bad claw point, just as is. I kind of like that. I'm going to go with that, so that's good. And we'll use this. And I'll still and actually have to go back to edit mode. But I'll select the whole thing. Boom. Just move it over. Rotate it a bit. Cool. And as usual, I'm going to send this to the back. So I can arrange it and send it to the back. Boom. Beautiful. So far, so good. I want the other part of the claw arm here, so back into draw mode. Same thing. That's fine. And same way, just go into edit mode. Grab the top part of this puppy. So just this and G, move it up. Maybe like so is just fine. So back into, eh, I'll stay in edit mode actually. And the whole thing selected, just the whole thing selected. Move it, rotate it, go where it's got to be. That looks pretty good. I'm going to send it to the back. Boom. There. There's my whole device. You can take this off for a moment just to take a look at it. It's solid, and it looks pretty good. So it looks like pruning shear machine or something bizarre like that. Okay, so I've got this built, and now I need to add some bones to it to make it work. So this will call for let's see, one, two, three, four bones. So I'll build four bones. So in object mode is where you do this. This is going to add some bones. So I'm going to add an armature. So there's only one armature, but there's going to be four bones in this armature. Armature is like a skeleton. There's going to be four bones in the skeleton. So the first bone is going to go up like this. Go to edit mode, edit mode, and make sure you grab the tip of it and move it where the joints are. Beautiful. That's fine. Hit E to extrude it to the joints arm. Hit E to extrude that out. Whole thing. I'll click on this to extrude out from here again. 
and the other kind of joint. That's it. That's all for the bones. So it's a super simple build. Well, now how do we set this up? Well, it's going to be the base bone, bone one, bone two, bone three. So I remembered how I built them. It's simple enough. Go back into, let's see. Actually, let's go to. Let's click on our stroke again. And then shift and grab the armature. So I selected the object itself and then the bones. Then I'm going to do object parent and it's going to be with empty groups because I'm going to assign those groups myself. I'm going to assign those groups myself. Right now it's empty groups. So what does that mean? That means I need to assign them on my own. So back in object mode, I'm just going to grab general thing here. Actually, I think it's yeah, the general thing here, and I'll go into the layers. And with the layer selected, I can actually choose what bone influences what. And that's not, I'm just kidding. It's going to be under vertex groups. See, I have the bone, bone one, bone two, bone three. There's bone, bone one, bone two, bone three. So base bone, I'll select my base bone. What does that influence? Well, I have to select the part of the model that's going to influence. So I just kind of select uh, part of it. You have to be in edit mode for this. So I'm going to select these two parts. That's what's going to rotate. Or maybe just this here. I think just this, actually. I don't want the whole circle to rotate. So you know what? I can actually select circle here, too. And just rotate that whole section. So now all I do is assign it. Boom, it's assigned. Bone 1. Bone 1 is going to be this. And this little section right there, the circle. That's going to be bone one. So bone one, assign. How about bone two? Well, bone two is my left claw, just my left claw. So let's assign it. And bone three, it's going to be the right claw. So just grab the right claw, that also it highlights, and then assign it. That's pretty much it. I mean, it's really pretty much it. So then I'll go out to object mode, grab just the machine itself. Actually, if I take that back, grab the bones, I think, and go into pose mode. You already started animating, so just grab something here. R. They start moving it. So, yeah, I'm moving this thing, and I'm just animating this whole thing. Let's go ahead and show it. Oh, you're no longer doing grease pencil animation exactly. So, I could actually go to the... Um, let's go over to the timeline. And you can see the keyframes are popping in there. I'll pull this out quite a ways. I can move this up a bit. Just R. Everything's R. You don't want to move anything. You break it. Let's bring this closed a bit. Snap. Looks vicious. And maybe have it come forward again. Bring this out a bit here. Maybe just this top part opens up. Maybe it's going to like this, like that one. Maybe come up and again, open again, open a bit more. Maybe this comes up a little. Maybe this comes back. I take it back. Let's do this. That looks good. All right. So I'm just playing with it super fast. And just to play it back, you've actually got this really smooth, really sweet animation going. And that's how you can animate a very simple mechanical arm. That's how you do it. It's really easy to animate in 2D as long as you get those set up right. It's just a snap to animate. So ironically, you're in 3D animating sort of with object mode, going to pose mode. You're working with the bones, and it works just beautifully. So enjoy it. It's kind of a fun thing to do.